What is up guys, my name is AR and welcome back to the PUBG lessons, classes, whatever we're gonna call this. Um, last time we spoke about sensitivities and how you should be going to the training room and figuring out your own sensitivities and I would have done a sensitivities video now, but I think we should start off with button layout. The next video could be about uh, how to test out your sensitivities, how to make your sensitivities correct. But for now, let's get into your controls. When you start playing off the game, the default layout is a thumbs layout. And I believe and I say to every new player, if you're going to start out this game, start off playing claw. What is claw? Basically, if you make your index finger and thumb into like a pinching movement, that is playing claw. You're using those fingers. And I'll actually show you my layout right now. So this is my button layout. As you can see, I have lots of things everywhere. Um, and go ahead, you can copy the layout if you want, just not sensitivities. Um, this layout is specifically made for for me using full gyro, moving my phone around all over the place to aim. Um, but you can see I have my fire button in the top left, and my, well you probably can't see it that well, but my scope button uh, on the top right. And on top of it is the cancel button. Um, when you're making a four finger or three finger claw layout, uh, there's a bunch of things you can do. One is put buttons on top of each other that can't be used at the same time. So if you look on the top right, you can see there's a cancel button over my scope button. Now that's a reason why it's there, to save space on the screen. Remember, not all of these buttons show up all the time, right? A lot of these buttons are hidden when your gun's away and you're just running around and you're not scoped in or anything like that but put buttons on top of each other if they cannot be used at the same time. Or, uh, what I had on my old claw layout, if I have a screenshot of that, I'll pop it up somewhere, is to put buttons, uh, what is the words I used for it when I was making it? Uh, the equal but opposite layout. Uh, basically, it's buttons that you cannot use at the same time on the same side of the screen. What do I mean by that? I'll put a diagram in editing of this. I'll make a diagram and I'll put it in editing. So basically, essentially, your screen is divided, if you're playing four finger, your screen is divided into four quadrants, four sections. Um, basically, your index fingers is basically gonna be for your aim button and your fire button. Your thumbs is gonna be doing a lot more than that. Your thumbs are gonna be responsible for your jump, your crouch, your, your prone, your peak, your joystick, you know, changing your weapons, get, grabbing a grenade, healing up, all of those things is mostly going to be your thumbs. Now you can use your index fingers if you want, but for the base level claw, you're going to be using your thumbs for that. And if I find this picture of my old layout, I'll put it in here again, um, you can see like my uh, jump buttons and my, my, my uh, what is the word, vault button is on the same side, but it's opposite of my, uh, my fire button. Because I can still jump and fire at the same time. You get what I'm saying? I can jump and fire, I can crouch and fire, but I can't, like, you know, scope in and jump. So if the reason why I can't scope in and jump uh, or rather I should say the reason why the scope and jump buttons on the same side is because I can't use it at the same time if that makes any sense so you keep the buttons that you cannot use together on the same side but this is my current layout um, it's still a work in progress it's a little bit of a mess um, and I'm still trying to get it all figured out now and then they just keep adding more and more buttons uh, into the game which makes it harder, it makes it tougher to actually make a proper clean layout that'll just stay all the time. 
but why play four finger claw i'm sure you're wondering well it's mainly about your movement uh the thing about thumbs when you're playing thumbs is you only have two fingers on the screen you can't do a lot of movement you have to use your joystick to move and if you want to move and fire you have to use both thumbs at the same time if you're playing thumbs you'll have to you know make extra movement to click on your scope button to aim down sight and then switch over that same thumb to fire uh, and movement is very restricted when it comes to thumbs playing but if you're playing claw then you can actually do all of it uh, at the same time let's just grab an m4 really quickly um, and I'll actually do some demonstrations We'll pick up a vest so we can just hold up some more ammo and we'll get an extended mag as well so basically when I'm in claw I can basically crouch I can jump I can peek I can move around and I can fire all at the same time you know what I'm saying so basically you have a wide variety of movements to do um, and it helps especially in in close quarters so if I'm right up against a guy I can do like weird things like this and just crouch around and you know actually shoot the guy uh, whereas if I was playing with thumbs I would have to you know keep both button both fingers on screen at the same time and have a restriction of movement and that what that's what gets people killed a lot honestly is the fact of restriction of movement and another trick is to for some reason if your joystick is smaller uh, you move way faster so what is my joystick at right now it is at 63 percent uh, it wasn't 100 I moved it down to 63 I actually had it smaller but my finger couldn't like it wouldn't detect my finger touching the joystick so I made it a little bit bigger uh, but the thing about this is that you can have this in any way that you want. You can have your claw layout in any way if you, that you want. If you want your fire button on the top right, you can go for it. If you want to play three finger, I'll show an example of a three finger now actually. I'm not sure if I have a three finger layout. No, so I'll, I'll just make a three finger layout really quickly. Okay, so this is just a quick three finger claw layout that I made right now. So in this, basically your left thumb would be on the joystick to move around. Your right thumb would be in the little gap in between all of your jump and whatever buttons, your jump, your crouch, your prone, as well as the, uh, the scope and the peak buttons. It'll be in that little gap over there. And then your left index finger would be uh, on the fire button. Uh, and with this, basically, you would have, like, your peak buttons would open the scope um, automatically. So if you press peak, your scope opens. And that's how you would fire. Your left, your right thumb, rather, sorry, would be for aiming and for all of your movements. That's going to basically be for three finger. Uh, for five finger, you would have an extra finger than your four finger, and I'm still working on that. So I wouldn't exactly know how to make a five finger layout, but I will experiment and I'll get back to you in the future. But this is what a three finger layout would look like. Uh, you can see a lot of the stuff is just in its default place, like the emote button and the map and the, the microphone, the marking buttons, all of those things. Uh, but for the most part, it's actually it's actually a pretty decent layout for for such a quick layout that I made. In fact, the gun can actually go here, so you can just tap it with your finger really quickly without moving your finger too far. Um, and that's a basic three-finger claw layout. 
Uh, if you want, you can switch the fire button over to the right side. You can move all of your map and everything to the left. Um, but again, that's just by choice. I'm actually just going to save this. Just because why not? I have my other layout over here. So, uh, that's fine. But Four Finger is still by far the best because you have that extra finger than a three finger to use for extra movement um and it also allows for more space you know you you feel a bit freer by using your your index to aim and then you can actually peek without opening the scope i mean you could probably peek without opening the scope on the um on the three finger as well but it would be a little bit difficult but once again, it's all about experimenting. It's all about coming to the training room and figuring out what suits you the best. What is most, again, I'm gonna use this word again, what is most comfortable for you. Um, and if you can figure that out, man, then you're golden when it comes to moving around in PUBG Mobile.